Hello everybody. My name is Blake Odunukwe. Now, today you may understand, you may realize that today's episode has nothing to do with wrestling. Today's episode has nothing to do with gaming. It has nothing to do with anything this channel is about. However, today we are going to be talking about something a little bit more pressing at the moment, this current time. You see, before before this current situation that we are in, coronavirus. Perhaps you may have been a a a a a, a, a Mac Daddy, a Mac Daddy, who who at any point in time could have received any woman he wanted, any woman he has seen he could get. However, due to circumstances we are currently in, I do not need to say what the circumstance is. Coronavirus. But we are in a pandemic. We are in a pandemic, so you may be wondering to yourself, "Oh no, I am single. I have no, I have no, no woman to call my own. What am I going to do?" So today, I flew in. I was flown in by the rest of festival themselves. I was flown in from an indiscreet country in Africa, huh? and they said to me, "Blake, please calm down." as the world's leading african analyst in love please calm down and explain to our fans how even though we are in a pandemic you can still get some pum pum so today i will be explaining to you how you will get pum pum in the pandemic so do you want pum pum during the pandemic then listen to this video i will be giving you tips i will be giving you reminders i will be giving you helpful hints okay to 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 be able to see a, any amount of breasts any amount of bots that you may be wanting during the pandemic so of course the the first thing i want to touch bases on is exactly since everything is shut down everywhere is closed where in fact will you meet a woman at all well obviously one place for sure is not closed down it is the supermarket the grocery store your Kroger's your HEB's what have you wherever you may be huh, to get your food that is the first place you may want to go to 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 pursue so, 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 some some tails to 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 garner some gosh you understand so you may be asking yourself oh so I just go to the grocery store and I just I bust my Mac I have a Mac attack in a grocery store who, who am I ludicrous circa 2000 eh? I don't have holes in area codes for me to just go and be able to pick up women like this. Eh? I'm not going and throwing balls. Eh? Eh? What, 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 what's your fantasy? Is basically what you may be thinking. Okay? And I've run out of ludicrous puns. And I find that pretty ludicrous. Oh, there was one more. So, essentially, the place where you will want to start is, is, is in the produce section. I find that a lot of men don't understand just how many items of produce are penis shaped how many items are, 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 are phallic in nature okay so what you will want to do is you'll want to get a, 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 a squash a cucumber maybe maybe even a zucchini okay perhaps a really big pickle and just hold it in your hand you see and so when when this 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 woman comes walking by you hold it in your hand and you say to yourself hey this this looks familiar and she 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 will probably she'll probably glance at you and say perhaps he's thinking of something else and then you raise your voice you use your better tone you know the voice you have as a man and you say hey excuse me Madam, I'm, I'm trying to place my finger on what this looks like, what this reminds me of. 
okay? And being that you are a man, she will turn around and say, hey, what does it remind you of? Huh? She won't ignore you because you are a man. And by sheer virtue, she will want, she will want to engage, okay? That is the first thing we forget. So anyways, you have this cucumber and you say, hey, I'm trying to, to put this, I'm trying to put my finger on what this reminds me of. And you two will go back and forth of what it could be. And when she is the palm, when she is in the palm of your hand, you say, oh, oh, eh, eh. that's what it is. It is my penis. The exact, the exact circumference, the exact length, the exact girth is exactly like this here cucumber. Now, make sure obviously it is a big one, please. Uh, stay away from the organic uh, cucumbers. For those who are as healthy as they may be, they are very small. They are very, you know, shriveled. So don't, please stay away from the organic section. Make sure this is a, 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 a Monsanto infested cucumber, the biggest you can find, okay? So when you say, hey, this looks like my penis. She will go, she will say, hey, well, well wait, a, wait a minute, oh, wait, a, wait a minute, okay? She'll say, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you saying that right now, this is what you are packing? And of course you say yes. She is yours. You are taking her home. Exchange the phone numbers. Get your phone at the ready because she will dive to give you her number. She will, she will have dove in into, into your phone numbers. If you don't have a phone, since you are millennials, since you are Gen Z, or whatever gen we are in now, since you you, you 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 can use Snap, you can use IG, you can use Facebook, you can even use TikTok. She might want to see your TikTok. Bonus points if you have TikTok videos already installed on your phone of yourself, just goofing around. So at this moment, she will have dove into your phone and perhaps dove into your DMs before you have even reached your car. So by this moment, you have acquired the woman you seek. So now this next step is very important. You, you, you text, you go back and forth and you, you bring up, hey, you know, I am in isolation. I don't feel sick. I've been wearing my face mask. I've been good to go. You know, I would enjoy if you were still able to come over to my place. You know, have a good time. Nothing too serious, okay? You know, you want to avoid sounding like the plan is to insert your genitals into one of her many orifices. As crazy as it sounds, women do not like when the first thing on your mind is that you want to stuff her to the gills with your genitals. They don't like it. I mean, as ideal as it would be that they did like it, they don't like it. So that's neither here nor there. So at this point, obviously she's remembering the cucumber. So she's pew, pew, she's on her way to your home. She's on her way. Before you even send the text, she's perhaps already at your front door. Okay. So she comes over. You guys are sitting, having a good time. You know, she's sitting on the couch. You guys are watching the movie. Wait at least 15 minutes before you try this next step. She'll be 15 minutes into whatever show you are watching. Perhaps Breaking Bad. Perhaps 13 Reasons Why. You know, because you want to give her 13 reasons why she should in, 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 engorge your genitals. However, take the time, reel it back in. You don't want to do that just yet. So, you're sitting there watching 13 Reasons Why. And then you look at your phone and you say, eh, eh, I have a message, a quick message I have to take outside. Hmm? So you creep outside, eh? like TLC, you creep, you creep, okay? So you creep outside, she'll be watching 13 Reasons Why. Keep in mind, she's still, she's still on her mind, she still has the cucumber. She hasn't forgotten the cucumber, okay? So you sneak, you sneak away, she's, she, okay, she has, her direct attention on you. 
She's looking directly, no, she's not on you, on the television, I'm sorry. This part gets me so excited. She has, she has her, 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 her gaze fixed upon your television. Yeah, she's sitting down, she's sitting down. And then you, you come back into the room quietly, you know, and you sneak. It's st real stealthy like, and you sneak. Uh-oh, I'm sneaking. And then you unzip your pants, okay? Now, this next portion, you're going to want to maintain an erection. So, you unzip your pants, you have unraveled your, your penis, your penis is exposed, it is out, it is veiny, and it is erect, and you are ready to go. You sneak up behind, you know, you bring your genitals to her shoulder, shoulder length, you know, right to her, right here, you don't say a word, you just sneak it, your erect boner will be here. So at this point, what you want to do is, 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 is say something so savage that a woman will have to, 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 to double, give, give the double take, have to look at, at, at who has said this, this, this terrible thing. And you can, whatever you can think of that will offend a woman so much. Uh, 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 Elizabeth Warren had no chance to win the election. Uh, 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 Lizzo isn't a good uh, recording artist. Uh, 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 what is what is uh, what is this thing they like? Uh, uh, Love and Hip Hop is is a terrible show that should have been cancelled one season ago. You know whatever it is they say. You know whatever it is that you feel is appropriate for whichever woman you are speaking to. Just go to this place, okay? So, you say this, you say, oh, oh, Lizzo is a terrible artist, truth hurts, okay? And then she will say, <gasps> uh oh, you see what I've done, right? This is your penis. You say this, Lizzo is a terrible artist. <gasps> Before she knows it, boom, you know, you have made contact, your ship has docked, eh? So, <laughs> <laughs> so your ship has docked okay so at this point okay now i'm getting a little giddy because by this point it, it is a it, it is a rap meaning game over okay because once you have docked there is nothing she can do beyond that point you are you it, it is success it is 10 times out of 11 times, 10 times out of 10 times, it is going to work. Because by that point, it is over. And, and you and your new woman will be having sex, 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 sex. You'll be having sex here. You'll be having sex there. You'll be having sex everywhere. Everywhere. You know? So, by this point, She's not going to want to go home because it is quarantine. She has risked enough uh, coming to your place. You know, she has risked, essentially, she has risked dying to come look at your cucumber. So she's not going to want to go home. So for the rest of the quarantine, for however long this is going to take, we don't know. CDC, you let me know. For however long this takes, you will have a new woman and she will be there. You guys will be able to freak. Freaky Friday. Freaky Saturdays, really. Freaky any day of the week because nobody is uh, going to work. Definitely not me. So anyways, I hope you find that this uh, technique has worked and changed your life for the better. And if it doesn't work by some off chance if that just does not work I don't know what to tell you you're probably really ugly I don't know so you know I can't fix ugly okay goodbye everybody enjoy <coughs>